child. Yeah, I'm a little baby, but I'm grown as fuck, so nobody gonna play me like I'm a little child. I had to get out of the scene, cause these bitches be. Alright, to go ahead and start off the story, I'm gonna go ahead and set the stage for you real quick. First and foremost, me and Shawty, like, we done known each other since, like, way back when, like, elementary school, middle school type shit. So. Like, yeah, so we grew up together on some shit, kind of. So, basically, right, we was in a class together, I want to say around my sophomore year, because my y'all lost my virginity, like, when I was around 16. Because before then, I couldn't really do shit, because one, I ain't had no car, two, I ain't had no license, so I really couldn't do too much, you know what I'm saying? So, I had ended up, you know, getting into a class with her, it was computer science. High school? Yeah, it was computer science at high school or whatever, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I was in like the second last row, she was in the last row. So it was one time we had to, you know, do a little assignment together. So we had traded numbers. So did after you like her, did you like her before this? Like would you like would you like pro like like you know what I'm saying? Would, oh. you, would you looking at all as a as a potential prospect? No, it, it wasn't even that like Bro, like, at the time, bro, like, I wasn't, you know, like, all, like, the sexual shit for real. Like, it was more, like, I was just cool with, like, I was cool with a lot of folks. Like, she was just another person I was real cool with on some shit, you feel me? So, yeah, I got her number that day. So, y'all make sure y'all go ahead and, you know, take that into y'all mind, take that into consideration for later. So, it was, like, one night, you know, everybody was out. I had just took my siblings to the movie theater or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm some little smooth shit. And I had went and slid to my cousin's house. See, it was just him at the crib because his pops one day, because his pops is in Atlanta or whatever. So we was over that bitch chilling or whatever. Mm -hmm. So he had some shit going on. Like he was about to go dip off or whatever. Yeah. So then I'm like, you know what, bro? Let me try to find some shit to do. Find some motion. Yeah, I'm about to try to find something. You feel me? I got the car. It was a little Gucci car, motherfucker. I'm going to show y'all the picture of that bitch right here. You feel me? And. I was like, you know what, bro? Let me go find some shit. So I had remember, I had got Shawty number like a couple months prior on some shit. So I had hit her up like, yo, like what you doing or whatever. She had to say like she was just chilling, you know, bored, ain't really shit to do. So I'm like, shit, bad. Like, can I pull up on you or whatever? She was like, yeah, come on through. So what I did, <laughs> got in that motherfucking Gucci car mug and pulled off and went to the, went to her. Okay. You feel me? So got there. Or whatever she came out, and we were just sitting in the car chilling, chopping Push. it up. So hmm? when you pushing up, what you think is gonna happen? Like, what's your expectations of the situation? What I'm thinking? Yeah, when she like pull up, you like, oh, like what you thinking? Bro, honestly, what I'm thinking. What type of timing, dirty D on it in this moment? The timing. I really want to know timing for real, like, bro. I, I promise you, like, bro, I was the most innocent thing in high school, yeah, bro. Like, chilling. Yeah, I was just chilling. Like, I'm like, bro, I was just gonna go chill with my home girl. Then after that. Like, I'm really just going to chill with my homegirl to waste time or whatever, just trying to pick up my siblings on some shit. So that's really, that's all I was thinking. Like, I wasn't thinking about none of the extra shit. You as a real homegirl. Yeah, like on some real, like yeah. cool, you know, some cool shit. So, you know, we sat in the car and I didn't know that her people weren't even home or whatever. But we sat in the car or whatever, like for a smooth, like hour, hour and a half, just chopping it up, talking. So this is our first time, like ever, like linking up, being around each other, like one on one or some shit. So, like, really before then, like, it was really just a school, like, friendship. Like, I just knew her from school. So she, you know how you just had them certain people, like, you just cool with them in school. Like, you be around them all the time, but you don't hang out with them outside of that shit. So, it was, like, first time with her on some shit. So, like, after, like, another 30 minutes, we sitting in that bitch chilling, her people pull up. They pull up. I just see her mom and them just looking all in the car on some shit. I had some little tents on my shit. You feel what I'm saying? So they really couldn't look off in that motherfucker how they wanted to because it was starting to get dark. So her mom and her stepdad had came up. Mom had knocked on the window. So then old girl had opened up the door. Was you shook? Hmm? Was you shook? A little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Like we weren't doing shit, but bitch, I was shaking a little bit because he like, oh shit. Like they came out of nowhere. Cause she did have her feet on me or some shit. Like she was like, like we were real life in that bitch chilling. Like we was in the front seat. She was chilling, her feet was on me or whatever. We just chilling. So her uh, mama didn't come up asking me who I was, what my name is, all that shit like that. She just kept telling me, like, bro, this Deldrick, this Deldrick, you feel me? So then, like, after that whole little interaction or whatever, like, I had asked her, like, shit, you just want me to go and just dip off? And she was like, yeah, that'd probably be for the best. 
And she said, I'm going to make it up to you because I ain't like how that shit went. So I like, bro, you cool or whatever. Like, that's just them looking out for their little girl. You feel me? So I had ended up leaving. Had left. A good little bit of time had passed. I had already got my siblings back or whatever. And I want to say it was about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning at that time. So then, like, by around that time, she had a text me. She said, hey, you still up? I was like, yeah, like, I'm still up or whatever. Like, bro, I was literally on the verge of going to sleep on some shit. So she literally texted me, like, right before, like, I hit that point where I wasn't moving no more. So I was like, yeah, I'm up or whatever. She was like, I feel bad about earlier. She was like, I want to make it up to you. You want to swing back around here? So I'm thinking, I like, man, it's two o'clock in the morning. And but then at the time too, I'm like, bro, like, I really ain't on shit. And no, she really ain't on shit. So I'm like, fuck it. Like, I could go just chill for a little bit longer. So I go over that bitch. And this time, like, instead of pulling into her, her driveway, her driveway long as fuck. I had ended up putting on the side of the road. And she came out, sat in the front seat. So we sitting there, we just chopping it up. So then, like, next thing I know, nigga, she had to put her head on my shoulder on some shit. I ain't gonna lie. Goddamn, Louis, we had got hard. I ain't mm. gonna lie. So when you pushing up, do you think she on some type of time, nigga? It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. Like, what y'all got to hang out? What y'all got to do? See, from what I done heard in the locker room, like, when girls, like, hit you up at, like, them late hours, like, they on some shit. Yeah. But see, you know me, like, at the same time, I'm like, nigga, I don't want to thank that. Because then if it don't happen, then, bitch, I'm going to be, you feel me? Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be sick as hell. So I'm like, whatever happened, happened on some shit. Like, I'm really just going with the flow. Yeah. So I get there, bro. Like, and like, she, you know, she, she all up on me or whatever. So then he hit, hit, hit me trying to get in my bag, nigga. I'm like, shit, like, it's real uncomfortable up here in the front seat. Like, you don't want to move to the back so you can really, like, be able to, like, really lean on me on some shit like that. And she was like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea or whatever. So in my mind, I'm like, Done. Like, yes, like, let's go, nigga. You feel me? So we get into the back seat. And, like, she actually, like, lay all y'all, my y'all, like, she she was real fucking short. Like, and if y'all don't know, like, them Chrysler 300, like, the back seat in that bitch is big as fuck. Like, I cannot lie, that shit is big. But she was real short. She was probably, like, 5'1", five, 5'2", five, real small little motherfucker. So she laid out in the back seat, head on my lap or whatever, and we just chopped it up a little bit more. So the next thing I know, she lean up. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all boys, man. Whoever tell y'all don't do that kissing shit, fuck they talking about. Like, that's the only way you gonna get that shit started, nigga. So, like, we and I be, we just start kissing or whatever, you feel me? Like, look, you know, little light shit. So then, next thing I know, like, as we doing that or whatever, like, cause we was like, kinda like this. Like, we were lean, like, side by side, just doing that shit like this. So then, next thing I know, nigga, I had him uh, put on top of me or some shit. And put on top of me. Game time. Top of me on some shit. Game time. Like, you feel me? Like, so we kissing some more. Next thing I know, Shawty start grinding on me on some shit. I'm like, bro, like, what the fuck? Like, I ain't never for no shit like this ever. You feel me? I'm like, bro, this shit here crazy. Bitch, I'm thinking like, bro, I pray to God I don't fuck Ryan and bust in my damn pants on some shit. You nasty bitch. See, that was all thinking. I'm like, bro, no way I go out like an L. You feel me? So... <laughs> So, you know, after a little bit of that, she asked me, she was like, do you got a rubber or whatever? And, bro, I told y'all, bro, like, I don't want to even think it like that, bro. So I'm like, man, in my mind, I'm like, man, fuck. Because I had to check my wallet because I did keep a, I did keep a rubber in my wallet. Because my uncle always told me to keep one in my wallet, bro. But I ended up giving my rubber to one of my homeboys. Because I'm like, nigga, I ain't fucking no time soon. I'm thinking I ain't going to do that shit till like, college or some shit. So... I'm like, nah, like, I ain't got the rubber or whatever. So then she was like, shit, do you know how to pull out? And, like, bro, like, mind you, bro, like, shawty no, like, bitch, I ain't never did no shit before. So I'm, like, in my mind, I'm like, hell, nah, I don't know how to pull out. But then I told her, like, yeah, yeah, I know how to pull out. You feel me? <laughs> like, hell, yeah, I know how to pull out or whatever. So she was like, well, shit, we can just go wrong. Like, you just make sure you pull out on some shit. Bro, I'm going to learn today. Yeah, I'm going to learn today. <laughs> Shit, I know how I feel when it's time to nut. So, shit, all I know is, like, when I get the feeling, I feel it, just pull out. Shit, that's that's the way I thought about it. So, like, before we actually get to that, like, she gave me a little, you know, little, little bop, you feel me, a little top or whatever. 
no effect the mood. And I ain't gonna lie, I repaid the favor. Cause nigga, it's my first time, nigga. I'm doing I'm doing that shit. I don't give a damn. Did that or whatever. And shit. Next thing I know, she was like, shit, you ready? I was like, shit, yeah. Man, I had a guy that put that motherfucker up in that car. Fam. Water. Water. I'm like, oh shit. Like this what this shit like, nigga. Like, nigga, in my mind, I'm lit. But then I'm like, bro, I got to calm the fuck down. I foot around the premature to do the shit or whatever, you feel me? So I calm down. Because, like, like, mind you, all my niggas are talking about something. Yeah, like, first time you do that shit, bro, you probably going to last, like, two, three minutes on some shit. Like, that shit be fast. So, nigga, I had to make sure, like, I proved the point. Like, nigga, I'm different. So, nigga, we was in that bit for a minute, like, killing. Just killing for a good little minute. So, bro, after probably about, like, ten minutes. Shit, that 10 minutes felt like a long ass time. It was like 10, 15 minutes. That shit felt like an eternity, nigga. Finally had a goddamn boom. Had ended up finishing right there on her goddamn tummy or whatever. After that. <laughs> bro, okay, I'm locked. I'm locked. I'm locked. I'm locked. Like, end up doing that or whatever. Like, finish on the tummy or whatever. She gonna ask me straight up. She told my nigga, you sure it's your first time on some shit? And I'm like, yeah. Like, she dead ass thought I was lying, bro. Like, I was not lying. You feel me? So, like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. After that, like, we just let, like, we just sat there for a minute because, you know, you ain't supposed to just dip out on a bit right after. Because, like, you got to remember, at the end of the day, like, she still was my friend. I'm still gonna see her the next day on some shit. So, like, we just chilling in the back seat, you know, make sure she's straight or whatever. Then, after that, like, shit, I went back to the crib. Nigga, that whole ride home, nigga, I ain't gonna lie. The radio didn't work in that bit. So, I was on the phone, got their phone in my ear like this, <laughs> listening to music, like, Bitch, I'm I'm lit. I'm turned, nigga. Like I'm gonna finally lost that motherfucker. You feel me? Special teams, special plays, special players. So I get to the crib. It's like a whole just wave of sleep that hit my ass. Like boom, like a bit nigga named Marquise just punched me across my shit. Nigga, I got tired. Nigga, I hit that bed. It was over with. I didn't wake up till like two o'clock the next day, nigga. And. <laughs> All I can say, bro, that was just a great ass experience, bro. Got me some cutty in a Gucci car, aka the Gucci car, or whatever. And shit, yeah, that's the Virgin story. Really, like, really ain't too much more. But if y'all enjoyed this story time or whatever, and y'all wanna hear more, you feel what I'm saying? Make sure y'all comment down below. And if y'all just fucking with the video in general, like the video. And if y'all fucking with me, subscribe. It ain't nothing to subscribe, bro. We on the road to 200. We are like 176 subs right now, so we are, what are we, 24 away? Yeah, we 24 away, so if y'all can get me to that 200, we gonna come with some more lit shit, you feel what I'm saying? And yeah, it really ain't too much more to say. Sometimes words get in the way. Keep stepping how y'all stepping, fam. Sound verified. I won't say no name, but I peep, I got niggas terrified. If it ain't about money, it ain't nothing.